want to welcome you tonight. You know, you don't need an extra welcome. You know, anybody that comes together in the name of the Lord, they're already welcome as a family. Mm -hmm. And tonight, well, I can say you've received the invitation, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you know what's going to happen. It's going to be a conversation. It's going to be a conversation with God and also a conversation with this magnificent woman, Latasha. Please welcome her. Oh, yeah, Listen, we got so. roses and all of this. Yes, Let me see you. if I can position my rose down. I don't want to knock all the buds off of it. It's so beautiful. All right. Let's thank you guys. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? All right. Let me get mine down here, too. Yes. Uh, thank so you. So we can get comfortable. Thank you all for that. Ooh. So, Natasha, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. It's always good to see you. It's always good to see you. You know, I tell you, it's wonderful to see you, and let me be the first to say, you don't look like what you've been through, oh, girl. Lord. Don't y'all agree? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, I want to congratulate you. You've signed with a new label, your Motown Gospel. Tell us about that. Well, How came Motown Capital um, Records. Um, it's just something I've always wanted to do as far as, like, singing and go back to my roots. Everybody's like... You're gonna come from R&B. I actually came from the church, just so people can understand what that entails. Um, I grew up listening to inspirational music. My father was a pianist uh, slash minister, minister of music, and my mother wrote a lot of skits and plays, and so I grew up in that household. Um, and so when I told my husband, I was like, listen, this is what I wanna do. And I said, I want a partnership though. I don't just wanna do something. You know, I've already signed deals and not gotten the proper compensation. And, Things that have happened in the industry, I have learned from the industry. I've been a student of the game, and so going further on, I said, listen, I want part, you know, ownership. And so we went in and had that conversation with Motown, and they got it. They understood what it was, and you know, and what that means and what that entails also is that you put a lot of your own money into your project where you don't have to get all this advancements, and then they don't have people saying, hey, you owe this type of money back, or you gotta recoup and do this stuff. And, so, like I said, I became a student of the game, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to invest in myself, and that's what I did, and I had people that understood what that was, and so we created a partnership. I love that. Now, you started singing when you were like six years old, and you put out your first mm -hmm. album when you were 11. At 11 years. And it was called Angel. Angel in my heart. I was. It was a dedication to my mother, and it was a, it's a 45. That's how long ago that was. Yeah. I thought it was your first gospel album. Well, it's, it was inspirational. Mm -hmm. All right, your yeah. first gospel song. So yeah. she's no new jack here on this one here. I am not. All right, so let's talk about the invitation, a conversation with God. Mm. Now, yeah, you know, I mean, when I heard it, mm -hmm. and I listened to it in its entirety more than once, and I gotta tell you, I cried. I'm gonna be a punk about it now. I cried because, you know, I said at first, why didn't she do this before? But then I realized you had to go through some things to be able to do the songs and sing them the way you had. I had a lot of things that I had gone through. You know, in life you have peaks and valleys, and I can say that I'm in the valley um, and coming through just the dark times that I've had and being able to get through that with music, with me being able to write about my pains and the things I've gone through has actually been my therapy um, within these last couple of months. You know what I mean? And so when you say you listen to the album and you had tears in your eyes, like the same thing with me. And I feel like when you do have the conversation with God, there, there is that connection um, that you have that nobody can take away from you. Um, I've been, it's been so much going on and I've learned that even with friends, they will not always be there for you. You know, uh, even family sometimes, you can feel like, oh, they got your back, and then you turn around and it's like, mm, not so much. So just me wanting to normalize that conversation and inviting everybody into the conversation that I've had. I've questioned, you know, God, like, why me? Why am I going through this? Now I'm afraid to, to get out there and trust people again, or are you gonna turn this around for me? Or you know, I just want you to stay with me because at the end of the day, as long as God is with me, I'm okay. So I use all those lyrics and like I said, it's been my therapy. Well, I gotta say you're very courageous because I mean, not everybody's living their life on stage right now yeah. at all. Yeah. So I, I gotta ask, you know, we're just gonna keep this brief. You know, we've seen the drama, if you don't know it, you just have to catch up another time. We're not gonna go through it tonight. But I was following you ever since R&B Divas Atlanta. 
and things were a little tight then. What made you decide that you were going to go forward with another show? I had reservations from the beginning, to be totally honest with you. But then as they started to say, hey, you know, SWV and Escape, you know, we're going to go on tour. And I thought about the possibility of all of us being here for 30 years in this industry. That's not easy to do, you guys. And I'm like, I, it should be celebrated. And that was my thing. It's like, okay, y'all going to celebrate us, black women in this industry um, who have just kind of stood the test of time. And we still got music, you know, 30 years later. So I was like, okay, I'm in. Um, but when I got in, in there, it was just became an attack, an attack, attack on Tasha. Every day I went in, I'm like, okay, we're going to get to the music. They never got to the music. It was just about me. And I'm like, y'all got seven other women on this show. Why me? You know, and it, it came from my family, my sister. It, I mean, when I tell you every day, not one day could I just take a breather. Like, okay, every time I went in, it was like, who, who coming next? I don't know. It was like my guards had to always be up. And so when people are looking at it, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt, I'm sad, I'm upset with my sister because the first thing that we shot was between the two of us. Mm. And I felt like she disrespected her mom and things were coming up that I never heard of. I'm like, the cameras are on, so now you're gonna, you wanna act out. And so now I have to go and repair all the negative things that people have said about me. And it's like when people in my presence, they go, you're so positive, I don't get that. That's because it's not the television and then doing crazy things and narrating in a, in a way and editing. It was just crazy. Um, I hate that we didn't get to a tour, but you know, it's, it's about the music for me now, getting through that. So are you still a member of Escape? I am still a member of Escape. All right, so we got that out the In way. In spite of what some people have said, yes. All right. Of Escape. And we're not going to do like they did. We're going to get to the music tonight. Come Let's on. Let's hear somebody. Afraid. Yes. yes. Now you all got these white papers here, and make sure that, you know, you are hashtagging, you know, all of these tonight. Um, hashtag Latasha New York City. Hashtag Latasha The Invitation. Hashtag Motown Gospel. Wow, that song is amazing. You know, the Bible says, fear not, fear not, fear not, 365 times. Wow. And, you know, one for every day of the year. But, you know, it takes a lot to be able to say that, you know, I'm afraid. Yeah, it does. It takes a lot of vulnerabil vulnerable vulnerability yeah. um, from people, from myself especially. Um, but that, I just spoke from my heart. <laughs> So, and I know when you come from the heart, it reaches the heart, and I see a lot of people out there kind of bouncing to it, so it makes me feel good, yeah. Well, it ain't all a sad story. In fact, it ain't a sad story at all. You have a story of victory. You made it, girl. Yeah. And you have a lot of stuff going on I under did. the name Made Girl. Tell us, you know, how you came up with that concept, and, you know, you've got, let's talk about Made Girl publishing, Made Girl music first. Yeah. You've got both of those going on. Well, the, the music is just, is just that it's just me putting back into myself, investing in, in me and so many other people. Right now, I'm the first artist on the label, but I am looking for talent. And so I think just by my walk, I'm able to, you know, teach a little bit to say, you know, what it's supposed to be about, like in a studio. Or, you know, if you wanted to know, learn more about engineering and just being a teacher as well. Um, but May Girl Music is just that. It's just not with you signing in a, a label and nobody telling you. How, how it works. I want to be able to explain to people how this really works. You don't just sign a contract and mm -hmm. you get all this money, you don't have to put the work in. You gotta grind, you gotta put the work in, but it also you know teaches you about music and songwriting. So I want to be that. Um, as far as Made Girl, just the company alone, I just feel like what doesn't break you makes you, and I've been in this industry, and, it, and it's, it's bruised me a lot, but I'm not broken. You know, and so I want other women to understand what that feels like to be to feel comfortable in your skin because it took me years to to get here. But I think that with you know so much responsibility that I have, it's like it's not just about the music to be able to walk in my purpose. I think God has so much more for me to do. Not just music is so much. You know, even with the cookbook, like you were talking about earlier about eating better. You know, being more conscious of what we're putting in our bodies. When my father was diagnosed with diabetes, I'm like everybody kept saying it's genetics. You can get it too. And I'm like, no, I don't want it. So I want to be able to eat right. And so I share my story of being the big girl in Escape. And everybody was like, oh, she can sing, but and she can dance. But it was always the but she's a big girl. And um, my, I had low self-esteem early on. And so as I started to understand what eating right really entailed, what it meant, I'm like, I have to show people. I have to tell people my story. And I can't always go out to every household. So I created this book of the recipes that I share with my grandmother or in my, with my mother in the kitchen. And even my husband and my son and I, we come up with different recipes. I think we're losing touch of sitting down as a family and having conversations. And we talk about mental health. Nobody's talking anymore. Everybody's on their phones and nobody's giving information. So I'm going to give it. 
If you want to hear it, I got it, you know? So. And you're from College Park, College Georgia. Park. College Park, College Park. Right. Yes, College Park. I gotta say it right, I don't know that. Yeah. But, you know, so I'm assuming there's some soul food there. I think, in fact, we know. And you got a recipe for like some macaroni, mac and cheese. Not just macaroni, yes. just mac and cheese. It's good. It's all soul food. So yeah. tell us the name of the book so we can look out for it, because it's plant based. Yes, Natasha's Plant in Kitchen. I'm sorry, Latasha's Playing Lifestyle. It is one of those books, when you look inside of the book, I have a testimony. I have pages where you want to kind of reflect on your own life if you want to create different recipes within the recipe. And just my walk. So it's like a, a journal slash cookbook slash, you know, just information, a plethora of information. And let me say congratulations, because the first week that it was out, she sold over 30,000 copies. So give it up to her. Because really. I told you that's one of my favorites. Yeah, you said that. Um, yeah. yeah, I think every song on the album has something different for everybody. Um, I just, at the time, I wanted to be free from the mindset of people trying to put negative on me. And there was this just smothering of, of my talents, smothering the creativity. So I just want God to free me. I just like, just free me from all of the stuff that is binding me down. So that's why um, I titled this. Really. Oh, and there it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's my song. I love it. I love all the songs. Huh? Got that global sound. Oh yeah. 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 That's I guess they call it Afrobeat or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. Know. You know, a little yeah, bit of that. A little bit of that in there. Well, tell yeah. us what. Tell us your description of it. You know, how did you come up with that? I'm with her. It's just a universal song. Yeah. It's a universal sound, um, and that's what we were aiming for. And just the message alone that everybody could get. And it yeah. felt free. Yeah. Yeah. It really does that to your spirit. Now, I know you touched a little bit, you know, just a little while ago, you mentioned your husband and your son. And just want to shout out a husband, a big supporter. He's back here somewhere. Oh, that's here. And we talked about, what, yes. almost 30 years, 28 years, congratulations. Yes. And just to set the record straight, you know, I know folks asked recently about open, ain't no open marriage, this is open communication, right? Yeah, Let's I was, straighten that thing out. you know, I took to my life, right? And I, I had a, I don't want to say a meltdown, I just wanted to free myself of so many different things. And I got on there and I spoke my heart and it was very emotional when I was speaking. And I think people, you know, took it out of context, but no, we don't have it. I tell, listen, yes. he ain't got it that easy. No, we don't have no open up and open communication <laughs> yeah, in the privacy right. of our home and our bedroom. That's yes. Right. That's so right. that's what that was. But people are always going to take negative, so it's okay, as long as we know what, what it is. That's right. And everybody yeah. else know, too. Yeah. All right. And your son, your son's in the NBA. I mean, well, yes, well, he's going right. to the NBA. He's, he's going, going to the NBA. He's yes. Going. He has You're a couple of work NBA out. mom. I know. Wow. Uh, tell us, you know, what team do we know? I mean, is there anything? No, he, he likes for me to kind of keep everything keep quiet oh, um, okay. because he does have workouts coming up, and I'm okay. very excited about what he's doing. Um, he looks at the fact that he and my his father are out just grinding it out, and he goes, wow, you guys never stop, no matter what people say about you, and I want to be, I want to keep that with me. And so he is, like, very dedicated. He's very disciplined. I, I don't think I've ever seen, I wasn't that disciplined. I love to sing, but every day he works out, he eats better, and I just love that about him. And he keeps me upbeat. I think today I had a moment where I kind of broke down because he went to his Instagram and posted something about me, just my perseverance and the resilience, and it just got me teary-eyed. So love him, j wow. I love my son. Well, yeah. congratulations, Thank both you. of you. Let's talk about Stay With Me. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. No, I skipped something here. We're turning it all around. Yes. Can't skip that one now. It's going to be brief and simple. I just want God to turn this around. You know, all the negative stuff and the things that they've narrated to make me seem like I'm just a bad person. I'm not. So not I just want God to turn it all around. Not That's where the title comes from. Right. I'm just loving this gentleman in the front here. All I can see is a smile. You're just jamming. My goodness. Just to remind everybody, don't forget, hashtag, make sure you're posting about this. You know, it's something positive. We want to get it out there about the new project. It's the invitation. Everybody's invited, of course. Everybody. A conversation with God. You know, generally conversations with God. People say it's private to get in the closet, but you are willing to open up, you know, your heart and your life to folks to share, you know, this beautiful gift. So congratulate. Give it, to, give it up to her for that. over a little bit of the maid girl you got some other things going on with maid girl um you got cookware i mean i'm like wow you don't you know not just a cookbook but you've actually got made right yeah 
Um, Made Right is going to be the seasoning line and, and so many other things. I have cookware coming out as well. So I just want to take my time to make sure that it's right. I just don't like to throw anything out. Um, I have... Um, you got clothing. Clothing as well. Yes, I do. Uh, it's athleisure wear. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah it's so after you get yourself right with your plant-based yeah. diet, you want to look you know? good. You know, right. walk up in the building like what? <laughs> yeah, be comfortable in your skin. That's what it's about. I just want to empower so many women to to understand what that really means to love yourself, to to walk in your light, to to be positive, and not to dim anybody else's. Because this is not what this is about. It's about uplifting one another. So many times we don't get that. We just don't. And I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here to help. Listen, I love that. Tell us about your creative process. You do the writing, you know. I mean, how do you do this? You get with God and, you know. Life. Wow. Life is a creative process. You, you got, like I said, you have your highs and lows, and sometimes the highs even. That's why even with the Free Me song, I just felt free. I wanted God to free me. But the creative process is just that. Sometimes we, we go through things and we write about it. And I think I, I'm so excited to be able to do that. Everybody can't. That's just my thing, my zhuzh. Like, hey, if I'm going through something, I can go in the studio or at the house, I just write, or I put it in my on my dictaphone, on my on my phone, and I'm just using the gift. You know, it's like I don't want to just hold on to the gift, and I think the gift is always supposed to be shared. It's not supposed to be held on. And when people have tried to put it in cages, it bothers me. Anybody with um, a lot of creativity, you, some people understand what that is. When people try and tell you, nah, you might want to do something else, or don't see the light in it. You know, so. I see the light in it, in everything. You know, even what I'm going through now, I see there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel, for sure. Yeah, and like I said, there's no way in the world you could have written this the way you had if you had not gone through something. So I, and then I also work with some very talented people that... Um, yeah, let's talk Yeah, about I have a, my, my god brother, I like to call him my god brother, Big Mac. I, I love him dearly. Right. He shared times with me in the studio where I would come in crying and had to just lay my heart out on, on the table. Um, and then I have a guy named Grizz that helped with the writing as well. And then Alec, I know some of you guys are familiar with tonight? the Wall, the yeah. Walls group. Oh yeah, exactly. yeah. Alec, um, he came to Atlanta. Oh, 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 Alec, yeah, oh, Alec yeah. Wall. He okay. came to Atlanta and he wrote with me um, on a couple of the songs. So I had it was a collective effort for all of us. Everybody, it was a unified front. I had two producers actually, another guy named John John who worked along with Big Mac. I just went in and told him that this is what I want to do, and they felt my, they felt me. Like I would walk in, they'd be like, oh. Oh, you want something today, sis? What, what we doing? What we doing? I'm like, we doing this. That's what I'm feeling like. And they're like, okay. And so they went in and took all of that energy and created, created the invitation. Love it. And you know what I love? I saw the promo and I saw like the place cards. Yes. And each song had a place card with a, mm -hmm. with a title on it, you know, of the song. Tell us about, is there videos coming out? Are we going to be able to see any of them? Yeah. Definitely a lot, of, a lot more videos. I am always the person to go online and say, what y'all feeling like? Like, what songs do y'all want to come out next? And I've done that, and so many people have, it's so much that, you know, a lot of people like turn it around, you know, some people like uh, love yourself. And so I'm trying to get a collective of everything and then kind of see what the next video is going to be. But I would love to hear from, from people, because that's what it's about. It's like, what y'all think and why y'all feeling too? So it's going to be a lot of videos. Yeah, all right, we love that. Yeah. Let's talk about Stay With Me. I just want God to stay with me. I don't want him to leave, you know. Mm. I don't care what's going on in my life. As long as I have that communication and I know I can go to somebody that won't judge and pick at me or make me feel a certain way, God gives me that, you know. And along with my grandmother, too, she has so much wisdom. I go and talk to her a lot, you know, when I come home to Atlanta. Like, I'm going to go see my grandma. She's going to cook some good food for me. We're going to have a good conversation. So that's my, I have a village. I have people that really care and I have to go back and you have to charge back up with those people. If you're around people that are negative that don't give back to you, you have to go, I don't care if it's a cousin or a friend, you know, you have to charge back up. It's so many times we don't do that and we become depleted. And then when we do get something from people, it's not the right thing, you know, and then you go back out, you deplete and you give somebody else the depletion. And that's not what they want. It's just unfair to do that. So I'm charging myself up all the time. When I can get home, I go see my grandmother and I get recharged, my family, and some of my friends that close people to me, they go, girl, it's gonna be okay. And sometimes that's all you need to hear. That's it. Oh yeah, girl, yeah. you are a beast with the runs, let me tell you. Yeah. Come on now, can't nobody do it like Natasha. <laughs> I love that. Do you have a favorite? Um, 
I love them. You talking about on the album? It's afraid for me right now. I do love Stay with Me because I was able to just kind of pour it out. And on the end, and the, the engineer was like, "Is she gonna keep going?" Because I just held the note. And I just I meant it with yeah. that. But yeah, afraid is is right now my top. Um, and also like love yourself. But we're gonna get we'll get to that. In we gonna get to it. Yeah, I know we gonna get to yeah. that one coming up. How long did it take you to put this project together? Um, I'm gonna say what about a month. Ooh. You think or two? Wow. Okay. What? I'm off. I just said mom. Yeah. Three wow. Months. Yeah, I just poured it all out. It was just back to back to back. Things were happening that way. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Make sure again everybody is hashtagging, posting. Don't keep this goodness to yourself. We got to share this. Get this word out there again. Hashtag Latasha New York C. Hashtag Latasha the Invitation and hashtag Motown gospel. Ooh. All right. Love yourself. Mm. Is Come that what we're we doing? That's what we're doing. Yeah. Give it up. Give it up. Yeah. 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 Love yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Give us one line of that acapella. Oh, not that one. Oh, I got some for you. You got some? I got some for you. All right. Mm -hmm. You gonna mm -hmm. do it? All I right. got you. I got you. All I right. promise I got you. Mm -hmm. Is it on your list? Yes, ma'am. All right. Yeah. Tell us about the song. Mm. When I, like I told y'all earlier, when I said I wanted to go back to my roots, it was, who you think you are trying to go sing gospel? Now you're gonna run from R&B, you and then you're gonna kidding. go, yeah, you just <laughs> kicking, now you wanna do, but that's, that's just the thing, like, God has given me a gift, and it doesn't matter what genre of music that I sing, I belong to him. Yeah. My gift belongs to him, I just embrace the gift, but I thank the giver. Yeah. So with I'm yours, it's just that I belong to God, I'm yours. And that's why um, that song, it's, it's, it's heartfelt. Yeah, play Oftentimes. a little bit. Oh. Wow. You can't get more transparent than that. Yes. Now, is that your purpose? Did you want people to just see you? I mean, they've seen everything else that they think they know about you. Yeah. And here's your honest truth. Yeah, it's my heart. Mm. Just giving you my heart and my emotions at the time and everything that I've gone through. So I want people to feel it. You know, I'm not the only one going through stuff in life. That's right. And it's just, like I said, it's supposed to be shared. Now, if I can help somebody get through something, I, that's what I'm here for. Um, my purpose is fulfilled, you know, just walking in the walking. Sometimes in life, you, you, you have things that you're supposed to help. You're, you're supposed to give back. You're supposed to love on folk. And I want to love on people. I know what it feels like for, to be bashed. I, I'm, I don't, I'm not in the business of doing that. So I'm sharing my heart, and if people get it, they get it. And those that don't want to get it, it's okay. But for me, this music is everything. It's helping me. And I just hope it helps all of you. I hope y'all are healed and rebuilt and restored and uplifted, and, and y'all find yourself, like I said, juking. Like, ain't that what they say in Chantel? Juking, juking. Yeah. Like, yeah, whatever they say. Like, you know, right. you you know, and around the house, if you want to listen to it, this is not just a Sunday album. No. You know, sometimes you get, it's like, I'm just going to listen to it. No, it's, a, it's an all week, all month album. You can listen to it with your, your, your partner, your husband, your whatever. So, and that's what this is for. It's a light. And you got oh, some, wait, you got some turn up for Jesus. Oh, yeah, well, okay. it's a little drill. It was a college part. So, <laughs> got to turn up Pipe sometime. Down. Pipe down. Turn up for Jesus. Yeah, yeah, turn up for Jesus. Turn up for Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love that. I love that song. It just gives yeah. me hype, you know. No matter what I'm going through, y'all turn it on. I'm like, but the shoulder started first. I was like, yeah. yeah you know, I was feeling it in the <laughs> shoulders. Yes. Oh, it was. Okay. Wow. How y'all feel about that one? Y'all cool with it? Yeah. All right. So there are 11 tracks in total. It was released on the 7th, just a few days ago. So, yeah, we got to make sure we turn it up. <laughs> turn it up with Natasha and get yes. it out there, get the word out. Anybody got it already? Don't, don't, don't yeah. tell me. Yeah. All right. Anybody get ready to get it? You don't hurt. All right. Oh, okay. Thank you, baby. She's like, I'm right now. All right. <laughs> I you. love that. I love that. Let's talk about him make a way. Mm. He will. Yeah. Come on. God will make a way. You know, when we first got started, well, right before we got started, I had a lot of people telling us, they were like, y'all need to try to find something else that, you know, that singing may not work out for y'all. And I was like, wait, I don't believe nothing y'all saying. I got to keep going. I, I want to hear from somebody else that could actually give me a deal. If they say no, then I'll know. So we kept going, kept going, kept pushing, and he made a way. The same way he's going to make a way for us to get out of any situation that we're in. But this is a song called He'll Make a Way. Well, 
this one by heart? You do. If you don't, you don't. But do you have a scripture or, or something in the Bible that just anchors you, mm. that you turn to? I have a lot of scriptures. Uh, the first one is, no weapons form against me mm. shall prosper. Yes. Um, blessed are the pure in heart, for, for they shall see God. Mm -hmm. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go in the house of the Lord. Um, fret not thyself of evil doers. Psalm 37. It, it's go. so many that I, I take with me as I'm going through life. Um, I'm not a preachy person. I like to lead by example. So a lot of times when you preach to people, they don't want to hear it, no way. The only way I can kind of preach is through song, and that way they get it. I don't care what demographics is, you, you know, it is what it is. You know, music reaches the soul. It has no color line. It's just, it's just a beautiful thing. And so I use music I to help that. me with, the, with everything. To meet people like you guys and to inspire. Um, even when, you, if you think about it, everything that we do is really with music. We get married to music and sports is music, boxing and every time you, it's music. So I want to use it in a way that, you know, it does something for people. Now I know we weren't going to do this one originally, but I think we get ready to do this last one. Gratitude. Oh, okay. Talk to us about that one. You have to be grateful for everything in life. Um, and this is, I like to say my sexy, Sixty um, gospel songs, <laughs> sexy Jesus songs. Did you say that? Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's just it's having gratitude, just th thanking God for everything, all of my blessings. I don't want to take one day and not be grateful for the things that I have, and even things that I don't have. I'm like, that's okay. Maybe it's for for my good. Sometimes we want so much, and it's like God doesn't want that for us, and we have to be okay with that. So this is just me being grateful. This is my grateful song. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Name the project. Meditation. With God. Thank you. And I want to share a scripture with you that came okay. to my mind for you. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are uh, nothing compared to the glory right, that right. shall be revealed within us. Oh, and with that, we're going to turn it over for a few questions right now. Okay. Who okay. shall be yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Or Okay. All right. I DJ don't. Tony, so introduce hey. yourself. I'm uh, not He's like, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> This DJ shout? Tony Tone from Hot 97 uh, here. What's yeah. up? What's All up? Right. Go ahead, brother. Yes. The sound of this project is straight to me R and B. Like it's, okay. it's mm -hmm. I've heard the project. I'm, I need somebody to give me the whole thing so I could do what I need to okay. do. Okay. But what I love about it is that it's straight R and B, right. right? And in the gospel space, there really isn't too many artists that give straight R and B music because there are people who that they're not church goers per se Sunday, but they love God and yes. they like to listen to Christian music, right? But their taste is not being met in sometimes in some of the music. So that's one of the reasons why I really like this project because it's people that like R and B will really enjoy this project. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you. I, I felt like it's just an infusion of both worlds because what I what I feel like we brought I say we I can say myself brought to escape or the music industry was that church sound, but then I infused it with, so thank you, I appreciate that, I really do, and I, and I, I feel like people would get it, yeah, those that, like stuff. you said, are not into the gospel, the traditional gospel sound, and that's that's what it's about too, so thank you, brother, appreciate that. Will there be another? Will there be another? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh church. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see a hand, I know, somebody got a thing, something got like, girl, we got some responses, some feedback, we got something. Oh. I, I just want to say that I, I think the way that it was recorded was extremely good. You know, uh, the clarity. Uh, there's so many uh, things nowadays, you know, it's mumbled, you know, and I think that the clarity and the way they recorded your voice, they really got it. They really got it. And I, I really, I've enjoyed everything that I've heard so far. You're making yeah. it hard to pick a favorite. Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah. That's a good thing. Really, really, really enjoyed it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I guess you don't have a favorite. So we, far. we like them all. Really? Yeah, Every time yeah. I think I, I, think yeah. I got one, then it's it like you hear us with another yeah, one. Yeah, that stay yeah. was good, though. That stay? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Mm, thank you. Yeah, that's one of my top as well. Anybody else? Questions? Feedback? Any feedback? Okay. Hi, my name is Leah Selena, and I'm with the Link Entertainment. I first want to say you should be so proud because this album is amazing. Thank you. Amazing. I can feel your emotion every single song, and I felt like 
I was going through a storm with you. It feels like we're going through a, in the middle of a storm and every song we got closer and closer to getting our way out and seeing the light. And it was a whole journey. And I just want to hear from you. You said it took you about three weeks to, to, to record this. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it took me that because I, that's how emotionally atta I was attached to this music because of what I was going through. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, we were filming. And every day was an episode for me. I would go in, it, it would attack, 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 and I would come out like, how do I express myself? Because I, what else can I do? I can't do anything else. So I went straight into the studio. So every time, like we were filming like what, four or five times a week? And I would come out on scene. Sometimes I was okay, sometimes I wasn't. And with that, I just took to the microphone and I just let, and so what you're hearing is actually me in there sharing my heart. Like that was my emotion, everything, every, every last one of those songs. And they captured everything. And I actually had somebody in the studio, I didn't even know, I had a, a videographer in um, the studio with me. And he was in the booth. I didn't even know he came in the booth and I was singing Afraid. And I wrote, I had written that just out, out of my head. That, that one bridge, I just did it automatically. And um, I was crying, like after the song was going off and I cried, I cried, I cried. He was standing behind me and I was so mad. But he actually got that emotion and it was in the song already. So it was that. So what you're what you're feeling is just me, my heart, and the things I've gone through. So I guess like they say, from the heart reaches the heart. So yeah. yeah. May God continue to bless you Thank and everything you. you do in the future. Thank you so much. Okay, we got Sherwin from Gospel Buzz. Quick question. Yes. Uh, Sherwin with Gospel Music Buzz. I know, you know, you're going through a lot. You're dealing with a lot right now. What's keeping you grounded and what's keeping you holding it all together? And what word of encouragement do you have for someone else that may feel as though their world is falling apart? Mm. Well, what's keeping me together is God. And that this is real. The conversations that we've had in the studio by myself, in my closet, in my house, um, in rooms where my husband and my son were not there and I just poured it all out. Um, it's the time that I, I was able to get myself together, you know, and then my family. I, I said before, my grandmother, my husband, my, my son, who is well beyond his years when it comes down to that. I know he, he graduated with a degree in psychology and I think he's almost like my psychiatrist. He's like, mama's gonna be okay. You know, I don't like to see you crying and this and that. And, I'm, and I'll go to the studio and come back. He's like, oh, that's what you did? Well, keep doing it, you know, so I had that. Um, I have a village of people who pour into me. When I found out I wasn't getting it from the places I thought I should be getting it, you know, you've been in the business for 30 years, you're thinking the people that you came up with gonna have your back, gonna be like, girl, you can do it, keep going. No, they were the ones saying, uh-uh, who do you think you? So I, I went through a lot, but the village, my family, my love, my conversation with God, and, and even people that I meet, you know, people like, girl, I got your back. So that's what's keeping me grounded. And for somebody else that's going through, stay committed to you, to what's in your heart, your purpose, because nobody can take that away. I thank God for my voice, because if I didn't have the, the music, I don't know what I would do, honestly. I really don't, if I couldn't share, if I couldn't ex express myself in that way. So he knew what I needed. He gave me the voice, and so I want to use it, and I want to help people as I'm using it. So keep helping people, keep believing, stay committed to you, and committed to your love of self. Thank yeah. you. Keep, yeah. keep going because you're definitely necessary and needed. So keep going. Thank you. I appreciate it. I will. I get that right. Gospel and music will. buzz. <laughs> like I didn't know that. <laughs> My goodness. All right, we have time for one more. Okay. Uh, hey, Hassan from Room Magazine. Hassan. Um, I want to commend you for uh, first this album. It's I, I listened to it last week, but hearing it now live sounds really good. Turning it all around is like my favorite. Okay. And um, you, I just want to encourage you because I mean the elephant in, in the room is people have been watching the reality show yeah. they're seeing everything you've been going through yeah right over the past six or seven weeks and the enemy is cunning man the, the fact that you were recording this and then you know filming that's the enemy man all the stuff going through yeah. don't let reality TV break up your, your family you know what I'm saying Amen. Amen. that's what it does we see how many people uh, you know marriages of Busted up, people getting married two or three times on reality TV for our entertainment. Yeah, it's yeah. whack. Mm -hmm. So don't let that, um, you know, come between your family. Yeah. Keep yes. doing what you're doing. This is a, a beautiful piece of art, and um, you know, just do you, man. This is this is this is a good thing. But as I'm sitting, there, I'm like, man, that's crazy. Like yeah. all the stuff that's been going down for the past couple of weeks, and for our entertainment. 
Yeah, Maybe and people don't sucks. even think. I'm sorry to cut you off, but people yeah. don't understand that I have a son that's mm -hmm. watching. I've always yeah. tried to make sure I shine the light. And his father is what well, who's been in his life, never left. Mm -hmm. Been at every PTA meeting, made sure that we got him in college, made sure he got out of college. Mm -hmm. You, when, when you see people trying to destroy black men or black people, yeah. it hurt, it's very hurtful. And like I said, I didn't sign up for this. I thought it was going to be two super groups yeah. on the stage. And, yeah. Yeah. and as I, everything started to unfold, yeah, I'm like, see that. Not at all. Yeah, like, I'm like, yeah. what is this? We love both of y'all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and Coco and I talk a lot, and she's, we're devastated by this. It's like, how do we pick up the pieces? And now it's so bad that the groups are going, I don't know if y'all, the groups are going back and forth talking yeah. about one another. I'm like, this is what it's come to? Yeah. The legacies are being destroyed because of a television show that is scripted and narrated the way that they want and then you turn around and it's time for me to put out good music everybody's like mm, i saw you looking crazy in the in the scenes and oh you and your no man my sister i've been praying i've been calling her and i'm gonna keep i'm not gonna stop that's my family regardless of what people say and it's crazy because i'm like y'all learning things like i'm learning on top never knew i mean we done did tours we've done shows we've been together me and my sister have been family outings my husband has helped us to do Songs to get, and it's like, oh, the television comes on, and my, I'm sorry, my soul is not for sale. I, I can't do that. I won't do it. So if y'all want to talk about me and persecute me for things that y'all are seeing and don't know what really it, it is, it's okay. I like, I'm with you. God is gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna bring me through this. So y'all hear my heart. That's what this really is. And you're right. The television is, it's, it's, it's a triggerization. It's what it is. It's just a triggerization for sure. But thank y'all, thank y'all for the love and support. I, I need it. And I'm really appreciative of, of it. Thank y'all. And we all got family drama at the end of the day. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're going to pray for the healing between you and your sister because, you know, after the cameras are off, it's all about your family, your yes. loved ones. You know, your mother's affected by this as oh, well. God. You know, just the Everybody. vision, you know, seeing that, okay, I got the signal. We can take one more question. So who do we have? Great all right. Question. Tasha, why were you crying now in the studio for a break? What about that emotion? Wait a minute, I'm squinting back oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that her husband? Yeah. I, it was a couple of things. It's when my sister accused me of, of taking something that I didn't take. Um, and the girls were all in agreement with it, and they didn't know anything about it. And then they were talking about you, who have initially like helped us throughout our whole career. 1995, you came in and revised the whole contract. We didn't. We were getting pennies. You actually put yourself on the front line and said, no, y'all got to do better. And you helped us to get our publishing deals and stuff. So when I hear people dog you out and talk about you, I'm not saying everybody's not without flaws. We all have flaws. But never going to say nothing good. And so it was a lot. And then when they heard I was doing the gospel song, I didn't want to tell anybody. Because every time I say I'm going to do something, it's always, oh, what you trying to do? You trying to lead the group? I'm not trying to lead the group. Everybody's been able to do EPs and music. I'm the only one that has not been able to do it. The minute I get ready to do it, oh, now I'm wrong. Oh, now, girl, you trying to leave? No, I'm not. So it was all those things. And I was in there. I was, yeah, I had a moment. Um, yeah, it was just crying, tears, tears, tears. And sometimes it's okay to let it out. Some people are like, girl, you got to be tough. I, I'm tough. I mean, you know, I have a tough exterior. And, but on the inside, I mean. You're human. Man, I be having days, times that I be like, why? What did I do? It's like, so this whole time, like, what did I do to deserve? What did I do to y'all? So, yeah. Well, you may have had a moment, but it is now your time to shine. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 All right. Is approaching the stage. Okay, Gabba. Gabba, come on, Gabba. Now. The governor. I'm scared to touch this mic. Nah, nah. Well, come on, Gabba. Too much juice. Too much juice. Too much juice. I can't. Wow. How was this? I need to hear some more. Some more. I'm so happy that we were just able to be here and show you some love. Yeah. Some love, some New York. Did you find that New York love? I really did. Yes, I really, really, really did. That's why you are Rose. Aww, the Rose you. of New York. Thank you. <laughs> Just let you know, we got a little surprise for you. You may have been talking to somebody, but uh, we have R&B diva, Melissa Morgan. Okay. In the oh, I'm just talking. I'm like, Doobie baby. Yes. Yes. Fool's paradise. Yes. 
She wanted to come up and she just she yes. told me when I hit up her and her husband, Woo, they said we're gonna be here. We okay, gonna be know. here. Mm. We wanna show her some love. Thank you. Do you mind I'll just let her take yep. the mic and just Thank give you some words of encouragement? She's a veteran. Let's give it up for Melissa Morgan. Yeah. You know what? I listen to you and I can't even tell you the things I've been through in this business. It is crazy, you know, um, and, and you just hit it on the nail. That's all I can say is just continue to be you, love you, do you. Because that's what you did on this. You did you. Because, uh, like she said, the, the young lady, you do the best riffs oh in, in, in R&B. You. you know what I'm saying? So to bring R&B and gospel together, you're, you're, you're almost like the new Aretha Franklin. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? R&B to gospel, and, and, and we understood that. So now you're going to get a whole new generation to understand what God does for you. You know, so I appreciate you, Natasha. I've been listening, and, and, and my fiance, I was like, I don't, I don't get into all that BS. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it becomes after a while. Like you said, people, you know, become one way on camera and then another way, you know, when they're talking to you and then another way when somebody is in their ear and another way when, okay, I got to make this money for this record company. I might lose my deal, you know. So you just continue to be you and shine and, and send it out. Send it out just like you did. God is good. All the what? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But Tasha, real quick, like I told you, you're the, you're the Rose in New York. I want you to know, we got this poster board for you to take back to your office, Brother Rocky. <laughs> but everybody signed it to let you know that we love you. Thank you. We love you, okay? So, of those moments where the enemy is trying you and just, you know, I just want you to look at this boy and say, whoa, New York love me. Mm. Yeah, this is gonna be mine, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yep, so thank you. I wanna thank everybody just for coming out yep. on tonight, just to show our sister, our New York sister, some love. Yes. Uh, our custom, as we always end these listening events, and I'm New York listening, we always want to end it with a prayer, okay. and a, a prayer of consecration, just to show support and show love. Okay. And I'm going to ask Pastor Jason Hendrickson if he can come up, and just give us a word of prayer and love for Latasha as she goes on this journey to promote this project. We're going to get this project to number one, right? Yeah. We're going to get a Grammy, yeah. Stella Award, American yeah. Music Award, Dove yeah. Award, so we gotta do what we need to do. You hear me, Rosie? Yes. We gotta get it. <laughs> Stella Award, yes. Dove Award, Grammy, everything. So definitely, we just wanna show you some love. So I'm gonna pass the mic. Come on, let's give Tasha a hand, everybody. As we prepare to leave this place, I want all of us to remember something. There's a young lady in the back, uh, Melaine. Her father taught us a valuable lesson and I wanna share it with everybody in this room. The dope thing about God is all of your mistakes are written in pencil. I'm going to say that again. The amazing thing about God is all of your mistakes are written in pencil. That means they can easily be erased and done over again. So whatever you're going through, we want you to know that you're covered. We want you to know that. I don't know about y'all, but I felt I felt a new sound. Yes. Yes. I felt a shift for yes. her. Y'all not saying nothing. Yes. Yes. And we want you to know that God has purpose for you, and you are so valuable for this moment. We thank you for all of those secular hits and the R&B hits. That was amazing. I'm one of your biggest fans. <laughs> but I want you to know more than anything, tonight, this moment is ordained for God to shift you and everybody can't go where you're going. Come on. Everybody's not supposed to go. And I want you to stop apologizing for the greatness that's in you. Speak, speak, Holy Ghost. You don't have to dumb yourself down to make anybody feel more comfortable. The minimum standard for you 
is excellent. And you don't have to turn your light switch off for anybody. That's it. God loves you. New York loves you. And let's pray for her tonight, y'all. Is that all right? Dear God, our Father, you are so kind. You are so merciful. We thank you for this gift. This great woman of God that has been a blessing to our community for 30 years. God, now you have shifted her. And you have called her to be a forerunner for the kingdom now. And God, we undergird her. We stand with her. As you did for Moses, we want Aaron and her to get on her side. And every time her hands get tired and want to drop, help her to be reminded that you have her hands lifted. And as long as her hands stay up, she's going to have victory. We pray for this album. We pray that you would allow it to touch people all over the world. We pray for God worldwide success. And God, we pray that this will be the first of many projects to come from her. Bless her label. Bless her endeavors. Bless her family. Everything that her hands touch, we release the favor of God. And God, we thank you that as we leave this place with them from your presence, that you would cover us. And even as we lay down on tonight, God, for every hour of sleep, give us two hours of strength. And we'll get up tomorrow to give your name the glory. We thank you for this conversation. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for our sister Tasha. And we thank you for every gift, everyone that's represented here tonight. Cover us and keep us, God, and we'll forever give your name the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Everybody amen. say amen. amen. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did y'all have fun tonight? Yeah. Did y'all love it? Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you for coming out, thank you for being a part.